So I'm in the new map called Shinonuma on Vanguard, and look at this, I'm currently fully outside the map, and I'm in this glitch where the zombies pile up on the other side of the wall, and I can actually take them out, kill them, and go through infinite waves. And yes, with this one, absolutely every type of zombie will pile up. This is just truly broken. This glitch is perfect for anybody that wants to get camos, or XP, and that XP can be used to rank up your battle pass, rank up your level, and by the end of this video, you are going to learn how to do this insane glitch so you can get yourself tons of camels and xp and shout out to the founders of this glitch you are going to be linked in the description and in order to start off this glitch and get this done you want to load up into vanguard and then go into the map called shinonuma yes do not go into the other two because those are trash we're going to be going into this round base now with this you want to make sure that you select a class that has healing aura then open these doors go right ahead get the map opened and now just get your weapons ready kill those zombies you can either get a weapon from the box or just pack a punch now i try to get a weapon from the box and i got a terrible weapon as you can see i got a damn panzer shrek which is terrible let me know in the comments down below what did you get in the box and once you're done with getting your weapon ready you want to make sure that healing aura is charged up now i'm gonna give you guys some things that i recommend you to bring the only thing that you really absolutely need is a self revive and the healing aura but there are things that will make this you know even more concrete that you're gonna hit it and the first thing is stims if you can get stims man go right ahead get them go to the crafting bench craft them or pick them up from a zombie they're super useful what they're gonna do is they're gonna give you health when you actually use the stim which that is needed since sadly when you're outside the map there are death barriers next thing is a juggernaut go right ahead buy the free perk you guys don't have to upgrade it to tier 4 or anything the first one is perfectly fine and if you want to be more you know concrete into actually getting this you guys can do the fourth tier if you are kind of scared that you might mess something up next thing is stamina up and you guys can just get the free tier you don't need to upgrade it all the way but just like with the jug you know it will help if you do and this will make it so you just run faster which hey we all need to be able to run faster because sometimes in this game you run slow i don't know what it is to me i swear you run slower than a snail for real and like definitely get that the next thing that i recommend is a quicker vibe this right here will make it so you get health back faster with stims and just healing in general so just a very useful get this to make it more concrete that you're gonna hit this glitch on your first try all right so once you're done getting your weapons ready by getting them pack a punch by getting your perks you are ready to start this glitch now what you need to do is simply head all the way over to where the zip line is call in that zip line make sure it's on the bottom all right now once it's here you want to get 500 points then use that zip line as soon as you use that zip line you want to run off of it as fast as you can then head all the way over here and then jump on the side of it make sure you are very careful when you're jumping on the side because if you don't jump like i do you do have a chance of dying and we all know you don't want to die because if you do die you're gonna have to restart but once you're on top of the ledge on the side you just want to wait until it goes all the way up and now with the thing coming up you want to make sure you don't jump too early because if you do you're gonna mess up and you're gonna have to restart or just get another self revive and what you're gonna do is simply go all the way up you know with the zip line and just before it stops and actually goes to the end you want to use that tactical sprint then run jump all the way in the corner and if you do it right you're gonna fall and die but you're gonna be outside the map now make sure you're careful don't go right ahead and jump too early because if you jump too early you're not gonna teleport outside the map in fact you're gonna teleport back in the map and we all know you don't want that to happen all right so once you're outside the map when you are in solo what you're gonna do is you're gonna be using the self revive to revive yourself if you are not solo and you're co-op you're gonna have your friend revive you now you don't want to instantly just revive yourself do not do that you want to crawl all the way where i crawl to and you want to crawl until you get to about like 10 seconds left until you die and now once you're at this point you want to revive yourself with the self revive like i said if you have your friend your friend would revive you and make sure you are right next to the actual map because your friend can't revive you way far outside the map he needs to revive you when you are right against you know the outside part of the map so just make sure you are there but you know we're solo and we're not gonna do that and once you revive yourself you want to run as fast as you can all the way around this map once you see yourself take damage that is when you want to activate that healing aura what's going to happen is you're not going to fully take damage and die the healing aura is going to revive you faster than the damage that you take and you can run all the way around the map now like i said grab yourself those stims because if you do mess up and go the wrong way or you're too slow that healing aura is going to stop healing you and you're going to have to use the stims to reach the spot that i'm going to 
and once you actually get to this spot you will not hit more death barriers and that's it guys we hit it now if you're watching until this point put hashtag we hit it in the comments down below let's see who's still in the building but when you are right here, there are a ton of things that you need to keep in mind with this glitch. Now those zombies are going to pile up on the opposite side of the wall. But some zombies will go to you from certain spawns. So from this spawn right here, they're going to actually spawn and go to you. And from this spawn right here, they're going to go to you. But every other spawn, they will pile up on the opposite side of the wall. And the majority of the zombies will pile up. Like you really won't get that many zombies spawning in those spawns. You're going to get a few but definitely, you know, you're going to begin the kills behind the wall and you can shoot through this wall perfectly fine with whatever weapon you want. Now, the ray gun might not work and the wonder waffle might not work, but I could be wrong, but I haven't tested those. And with this glitch, you guys can see here, absolutely everything should pile up. Zombies do and the bombs things, whatever they're called, bomb things. I don't know those zombie names. I don't know, but the regular zombies will and you know everything should pile up so this glitch is a way better than the one that i posted yesterday and this glitch will allow you to get a insane amount of camos since you can literally aim for the head through the wall and simply kill them that's it super easy right there is your camo challenges right there the headshots the actual pack a punch you can pack a punch a weapon so get those camos this is perfect so if you're sitting here like man i really want to get those camos i want to get that dark ether and i want to get you know level 100 in my battle pass well do this glitch right now because this glitch is perfect for you and this will help you guys with getting all of that cool stuff. And let me know in the comments down below, how many guns do you have gold? Let's see who is the closest to Dark Aether. I'm going to be very interested to see who is. I'm going to try to get it. I'm not that close, but this glitch will definitely help me go through it and I hope it helps you as well because I'm going to be using this. Now with the power ups, you will be able to pick them up from the opposite side of the wall by just simply standing here. Or, you know, if they are far away enough, you might have to jump, but you should be good with that. Ammo should not be a problem. Next thing is, if you do have a friend with you, you can have him sit in this corner where I am, and he will be able to kill the zombies. And some zombies will go for you, but that's okay, because most zombies will pile up right on the opposite side of the wall, you know, where the person is glitched out. And if you do get down and you are on the map, you can crawl all the way over to this point of the map and simply have your friend pick you up. And that's exactly how you use this glitch, everything to do with this glitch, and, you know, you use this to get those camos. But that's it for this new badass zombies pileup glitch that will get you camos and XP. So this is a camos XP pileup glitch in zombies in Vanguard, and you need to take advantage of this. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't, drop a like, and all that stuff for future content on on tips, tricks, glitches in Elden Ring and Call of Duty. But anyways, that's it. Have a great day or night. Thank you so much for your support. Shout out to all the members which are on the screen. Please like, comment, and subscribe to become part of a ninja team. But anyways, have a great day or night. See you later. Peace out.